We are now just 48 hours away from the beginning of phase one of reopening in North Carolina when things are going to look different. Yeah, more stores are going to be opening up, of course, subject to the strict social distancing guidelines. But when it comes to enforcement of all the rules, that is a bit of a gray area. Now, under phase one, more people can be inside a business at one time. Businesses can operate at 50% capacity. That's more than the current 20%. I want to bring in our Mark Becker live tonight. One question that came up, Mark, for North Carolina officials is why more businesses like restaurants are not included in this phase one opening. Yeah, it seems like that would be logical, right, that they could do that. But the fact they say, Scott, is that you go over to a restaurant, you may be there for an hour or two, basically sitting still, being very stationary, close to other people. But if you go into a store, even a small store like this one, you're going to be moving around in and out, and the stores will be limiting exactly how many people can get in. And that's why this store and many others like it will be able to open on Friday. Caroline Dowling is busy getting ready to reopen. She closed this trendy boutique in Myers Park a week before the state ordered non-essential businesses to close. And she's been hanging on ever since. Yes, absolutely, it's a life raft just in time. Our um, online orders were decent, but nowhere near what we do on a daily basis with our doors open. Of course, just because we can go shopping for things like clothes again doesn't mean we should or that we will. I mean, I'd say I was definitely excited when I heard that they were opening up a little bit. <laughs> Perry Warnock and Abby Barefoot told us they're ready to get back into stores, but there are conditions now. So like, yeah, if we're still distancing and wearing masks and stuff. I think it just depends on how good the store is about like cleaning everything and like keeping everything sanitized. Yeah. Caroline Dowling says the rules will definitely be different when they reopen on Saturday. We're not going to allow any more than five people in the store at a time. And today CMPD said it will be largely up to businesses and customers to make sure people are following those rules. We will respond to complaints as we have been uh, the whole time. Uh, but I think as, as you're well aware, it gets really difficult um, when you try to, to enforce social distancing. All right, so Mark, this has been a really big debate heading into this opening up on Friday. Social distancing. Who is going to enforce this? People will wear masks if they're supposed to. We know about the six-foot distance. Retailers, we assume, would make an environment um, that creates social distancing. People have said, well, who will enforce it? Would CMPD do that? And I know that I heard um, officers saying today, we're not going to be going around to stores. We're not going to be making sure. So it kind of seems like society is responsible for social distancing. Well, that's what it's going to get down to, Scott. Police said in so many words, look, we're not going to be in there with tape measures in a store like this one to keeping people apart. First of all, it's hard to know who's family and who isn't. But yes, if they're called to a place like this and they hear and they see there are too many people inside, then they'll get involved, but probably not otherwise. Scott?